Hi, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and happy birthday, Aquarian Suns. This is going to be your general reading, your general mini cross reading for February 2021. Uh, I am working on the website. I'm going to tell you something. Props off and hats off to the guys who do that for a living because, wow. So um, I've already done some, and I'm going to be posting up a, what do you call it, a... Um, open reading here in a little bit. Um, you're probably going to see that first before you see this. So I can address a few things. Um, and so you'll hear all about it in the, in the video when it comes up. So anyway, I have done some meditation and shuffling on your sign. Today I am going to be using, bringing you the Radiant White deck. Of course, we'll be clarifying with Levita Sabila. And we will pull a Golden Nostradamus card. That's interesting too. So there's some developments on that front. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around. And uh, there you go. And so we're going to get started with our mini cross. I just want to give another um, shuffle and rifle on these. card wants to present itself so we'll start with that one in the middle we have the four of pentacles okay and I'm gonna go ahead and cut <clears throat> what we want to know now is the unknown influence it is the moon Wow the foundation or where we what we actually know is true <laughs> the five of wands i don't know why i get the feeling that some of you are caught in the middle of some kind of uh dispute right about now uh <clears throat> and you're trying to remain neutral in it um <clears throat> the near or distant past there's the queen of cups and the near or distant future there is the three of wands well and what is over the whole reading? We have the Eight of Cups. Wow, okay. So again, as I stated, it whatever this, um, and this is definitely some kind of choice or opposition. Uh, and the reason why I say that is I go from the Five of Wands to the Three. Um, and to me, uh, that is the way the energy is going. In fact, this is kind of a looking out towards the future. Whether you are an Aquarian sun, moon, and or rising, you could have a water moon or a water rising sign, but I do feel that this is you, Aquarius, uh, feeling very emotional about the situation, something from the past. And right now you are kind of holding steady uh you're not making any moves one way or the other i don't feel necessarily that this is a financial situation um in which case if it is this says that you have the stable foundations you know everything is okay as it is it is these wands here um this thing is definitely triggered by the moon and if i'm not mistaken i don't know where my calendar is i think we have a full moon or a new moon uh today I, I believe so. Um, <clears throat> if you look, there's also that. That's an eclipsed moon. Okay, the only eclipsed moon in the deck. So uh, what this says to me in, in a roundabout way is that whatever this situation is, there has been some arguments and fights. And I think there are, um, for lack of a better term, perhaps many people involved. Sometimes this could be fighting like children or fighting over children but basically everybody trying to get their two cents worth in. Uh, sometimes it could be games, people playing head games with you. Um, but I do get the sense that whatever this thing is, you, you make the decision to leave it behind you and move on, which I would, I would think is, is a very good uh, thing. There's another thing here. I got these weird, the eight, of cups with this queen of cups actually gives me a nine of cups and so if this is the idea that you're trying to wait something out and that eventually the situation will rectify itself will turn out okay that is true too 
what we're dealing with in terms of this moon is some things that are either unseen well yeah unknown that is the position of it but also triggered by that event um <clears throat> let me take a look uh if i can this eight of cups however is is um I just get the sense that you disappear off the scene, okay? And the reason why that comes up that way is because a person is leaving at night. It's like you just completely remove yourself from this situation because emotionally you just can't do it anymore, right? I don't know if this is a friendship, if this is a business thing, um, or if this is just something that you are, what's the word? opposed within yourself about which direction you should go or what you should do and so if the question is should i walk away from this situation should i not even become involved should i not engage should i just move on the answer is yes you should um so allow me to the three says the three of wands says that there are more things that need to be done before you can actually move forward threes can sometimes represent uh suspended events so there's more planning or more fire or more gumption or more courage that you're trying to dig up, um, but you will do it. And if you haven't done it yet, you should do it. Okay, let's look at the, what this five of wands is trying to tell us here. Dinati. So we know there's, you know, like I said, financial issue, perhaps maybe you loan somebody some money, <laughs> you know, and you ain't getting it back right um let's see the stanza indeed and the domestico all pretty good cards um this is a knight of wands um this stanza card is the card of a meeting okay it speaks to a meeting between two people who uh, know each other very well so this could be friendships this could be colleagues this could even be a lover Right, somebody who knows your secrets and whatnot. Um, and it speaks about the idea of, of coming together and meeting with someone. But I do feel that perhaps this meeting turned into perhaps some harsh words or angry words, things being said or done. Um, but yet the domestico comes in and even this, which is interesting, even though this represents money, uh, we know that uh, lots of fights are over money. People are emotionally attached to things. Uh, let's say that this was a project that you wanted and it didn't go well. You, are, you were emotionally attached to. But this also represents the idea of documents, old documents and perhaps secrets, things from the past, okay, that have come out and will be coming out. Something perhaps that you did not know and maybe this is why you weren't making any moves. Uh, but the domestico uh, can be a young man who, I don't know, maybe wants to help you, but may have ended up putting a monkey wrench in the thing. But for me, the way it's showing up is simply the idea that this is the helper. So whatever this argument or this fight, this disagreement is when you meet about this money or contractual issue thing here or whatever secrets um, that is designed to help you and what the energy feels like it feels as though this is something that needed to be said the air needs to be cleared so that you can move past it okay and uh, so if you haven't mustered up the strength yet uh, do it and it could mean that you may end up walking away from this friendship right but if that's the case and it kind of also feels as though when this occurs you're looking at the individual as though you don't even know who they are right you've known this person for this long time y'all know everything about each other but for whatever reason this particular incident event it's suddenly as though you're looking at the person as though you you don't even recognize who you are dealing with and this is the sadness of having to walk away from that person, okay? Um, so let's uh, formulate one question for the Golden Nostradamus, and let's see uh, what he has to say. And if that's the case, 
you know, maybe this person is not meant to go with you on the next leg of your journey. Because this represents the idea of walking off to find something better. And not necessarily better in the sense that it's just better, but something that is altogether, on the whole, more positive for you, right? What, what is in the past no longer holds the same weight for you anymore. And so sometimes we have to let go of our friends that way. We do. We outgrow each other. Number 22, the tree, which speaks to longevity, right? Um, but it also says, if you cannot have what you want, then settle for what you can. The stability of the tree advises caution. It says, it is not the right time to change or to take risks. Instead, you should, should save your energy and seek stability in mind and body. In other words, I think what this is saying is don't allow this other person to alter your plans or try to convince you otherwise in terms of what you were doing, right? Because now is not the time to do that. And what you should do is seek stability in the mind and the body so that you can make the best decision for yourself moving forward. And I do see that you bow out of this situation, okay? And so that's what I have for you for February. <laughs> Aquarius, sun, moon, rise. I don't know what you bargain at. But uh, until next time, I hope that message helps you. Namaste and be safe.